Okay, uh, 2012. Uh, I actually saved up points for quite a few years and uh, drew a decent tag. Probably one of the better tags to draw in Oregon. Um, not the best by any means, but a uh, buddy of mine drew. I uh, actually drew deer tags that year. We just didn't go in because it's a long way, so deer hunting's not great. But uh, we went in June, scouted, and uh, found some bulls, some pretty good bulls in velvet. Um, obviously not full grown, but they had pretty good front ends on them already. Thought, well, it's a pretty good spot. It's about 18 miles riding in there with horses. So we uh, borrowed a couple mules and a horse, I think. I think how we had. We had four pack animals. So we borrowed, I think we borrowed three, I think. And we borrowed four pack animals, like the four we, animals we packed, we borrowed. Uh, and then rode our own horses. But rode in there, just two of us, buddy my Tyler and I, and uh, took a real small wall tent and I set up, you know, off the trail, ways up in a drainage. And uh, had to go pretty light because only having four animals, you got to haul feed for them in there. And we didn't want to let them just run all over, hobbled. So, uh, but anyhow, uh, we got in, got our camp set up, and then the next day, opening day, uh, we actually. Same type of deal on one of my other bulls. We climbed up the hill. It's pretty open in this country. And uh, spotted a bull right above our tent on the opposite side of the canyon. And decided once it got light, we'd see him. He's, you know, he's pretty big. He's eating in this. He was down with his head down eating his main beam stuck up above his back. So, like, yeah, that's a big, pretty good bull. Good tine length on him. Um, long, long main beams. So we headed after him, dumped all our stuff. It's super steep in this country. Dumped a lot of stuff at camp and then headed up and uh, tried putting the sneak on him. Uh, couldn't find him. Like, when the draw he's in, he just moved on or moved to the next draw. So, we, a buddy of mine stayed kind of on the trail we thought the bull was going. I went up and over and uh, actually ran into some more bulls. Uh, another really big bull. Probably would have been my biggest Oregon bull if I'd have killed him. Uh, bull was probably in that 340 something range. Uh, I'd loaned my gun out to a friend who had a Mount Emily bull tag, my Gib gun. So I had my kind of like my second stringer, which it was not a great gun, but I thought, well, I can make do it shoots. Okay. And, uh, I missed that bull four times, four or five times. I think, um, I just, I don't know if I misdialed or what happened. I should have just went back to zero and did hold over, but. Anyhow, then there was another bull with him. They got away. I'd seen another bull in the bottom who's a small six. Wasn't going to shoot him in there. So I run back down. I thought, well, I'm going to go see what Tyler's doing. And uh, I seen him across the ridge. He was across the draw from me. I seen him look down. And pretty soon he pulls his gun out and shoots. And they shoot, mess around there for a little bit. And he shoots again. And then had messed around again on the wood. I couldn't figure out what was going on. And, and then I'm like, well, I said, I'm going to. Yelled at him across there. I was like, you get him? And he kind of nodded a little bit. and wasn't making sense, but I was like, well, I'm going to go check for blood on another bull. So I headed back up country and uh, checked on that bull. No blood, no nothing. I tracked him clear up where I seen him go. There was nothing. I didn't hit him at all. Come back down and got back down to Tyler, and he killed that really big bull. That bull was like mid-330s. Uh, he had a 55-inch main beam, great bull. And uh, But he'd scoped himself, and when he scoped himself, it had shoved his scope mount forward, and it actually, uh, he couldn't eject his round, so he's having to drop the magazine, dump it out the bottom, and then put it in the chamber around and shoot. And But it scoped himself twice. He got a Y on his middle of his head. Um, yeah, good bull he shot there. So we went back, kind of them bulls, like the next day. I don't think we got into any. And I think the third day is when I shot this bull. Yeah, I went back up in there, climbed over the ridge from camp. And I got to look at it down in the brush. This bull was laying, facing away from us. So we, there was one tree on this whole sail side. So I lined that tree up with him and got as close as I could. I got about 370 yards. And uh, double, triple checked my elevation, my turret, made sure I was dialing correct. And uh, I shot him four times at 370-some yards, made it count, uh, put him down. He was an older bull. He had a pretty big old head, big body. Uh, his ears were filled with ticks. Like he, I don't think he could even hear. They were so filled. But 
you know, like I said, good bull for this country. I mean, not the biggest bulls in that country, but he's actually a nice for an Oregon bull. He's a good six point bull. Well, five by six, he's missing eye guard. But a uh, pretty fun trip. Like I said, we shot just the two of us. You know, we were in there about seven days total by the time we got him back to camp and then headed out. But it took a rest, couple rest days because it was, I think we lost 10 to 15 pounds a piece in there hunting because we just couldn't bring enough food. And, uh, but yeah, fun hunt. Um, but yeah, this is a 2012 bull. Uh, pretty nice bull. Decent mass. You know, not the biggest, but he's an older bull. I don't think he's going to ever amount to much more than what he was. So, but yeah, just being patient and uh, covering country is the name of the game in this country. It's open and glassing a lot. Yeah, like I said, I glass him, I like glass down in the brush. Like I didn't see him with my naked eye. I was just glassing the brush and seeing this side sticking up. So, but yeah, it, uh, you gotta be in good shape too. Being in good shape is key on this hunt because if you're not, it, it will eat you up. I mean, just, it's rough country, really rough. So you don't do tons and tons of hiking. I mean, you can, but you're going to pay dearly for it. So 2012.